What's going on YouTube? So I'm saying bringing you another review this time. I'm bringing you the Saper or Sapor, whichever one you want to call it. If this thing wants to focus. There you go. Now, as everybody knows, I've kind of been on vacation. So this week has kind of really been hectic, you know. I've been running around Trying to get everything unpacked this weekend. Plus, I had to go to work last night, and then it's just it's been crazy. And 9/11 was actually uh, my two-year thing of my grandma passing away, so I've kind of had to deal with that. And uh, anyways, now this device, the Saper or Sapor is made by Watofo. Now, as everybody knows, Watofo is a great company and everything sells like crazy. They are responsible for the Freak Show, the Freak Show Mini, the Troll. I wasn't a real big fan of the Troll. But anyways, now all these are affordable. So you don't really need your vape budget hands. So that's really awesome. So it's, it caters to everybody. And that's why they sell so many of these devices. Now, the Saper or Sapor or whatever you guys want to call it. I'm just going to call it the Saper. I don't know. Sapor sounds pretty cool. Now, this is a top airflow. Now, you might get a little bit of spit back, but you won't get any leaks. Now, the only time I have had spit back problems is when I've tended to over drip. And trust me, I tend to over drip often. So, you know, of course, you know, if you put a lot of juice in there and it fills up, it's ain't got nowhere else to go but up so of course you're gonna get it in your little mouth hole now this is a 22 millimeter device so it will sit flush on all your devices it does have an adjustable top airflow which the adjustable airflow is really easy to do now this is for more dual coil builds um sorry single coilers but this is just for dual coils now the reason i decided to pick up this device was because i as you guys seen in my past reviews, unless you haven't watched them, I was not a big fan of the Aeolus version 2 Pro, and I love top airflow RDAs. It's just something that I've always been into. It's just, I don't, I don't like leaky devices. I don't want juice running down my mods. And uh, I was so disappointed in it, and one of my friends was like, hey man, pick up the Saper, man. It's, it's affordable, top airflow, only 30 bucks man so I was like okay you know what I'm, I'll do that I'll go ahead and pick one up so I did take this with me the whole time while I was on vacation and I used it the whole time and plus a little bit more before then so I am pretty familiar with it and I gotta admit that I actually love it I mean you get so many extras in your box obviously I'm gonna dive down and show you guys what all comes with it now great it comes in multiple colors it comes in baby blue white stainless steel black lime green because lime green was the one i wanted but see i as you guys see i got a white one now got a white one because for some reason all of them were sold out so i was like man i really need to get my hands on one of these so i can show it to my viewers and hey more rda is the better right now I did pick it up so I got a white one now I will be doing a my announcement on the giveaway I did I did a giveaway on the thump RDA and I did say I was gonna announce the winner today so I will be doing that towards more towards the end of the video and that'll be about it so I say we dive down take a little closer look and see what all we get with this device so you guys can make a better decision on whether you want to pick up one of these and I gotta admit big budget hands man anyways let's dive down guys all right guys here we are up close with the packaging of the Saper or Sapor does have the what signifies the collar on here mine is white do get a little 
little card here. It does tell you what all comes in there. The Saper, the 510 drip tip and adapter, the deck, broad cap, o-ring screws, and a screwdriver. And of course, Watofo. Get this little card here. Get some goodies, y'all. You know how much we love them goodies. Alright. Now. Along with the... You get the... Saper RDA with a wide bore Delwin drip... Eh, Delrin drip tip and a standard 510 drip tip. In our goodies, we have five O-rings. Four extra grub screws or grub nuts, heck of screws, whatever you guys want to call them. I don't, I don't care. Whatever you guys feel fit for those little boogers. You do get a nice little Allen key screwdriver. And I do like the Allen key screwdriver better than the Allen key because it is a little easier to keep up with. Now, let me break this thing down for you guys. Show you guys all what all you get. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is all broken down for you so you know what to expect. We're going to take a look at the deck here first. If I can get her to autofocus here. Move all this back. And I lost the drip tip. Son of a hoot nanny. Stop focusing on these. All right, here be the deck. Right here, you got yourself a nice positive post block. Your post holes are about two millimeters in diameter. Hex screws, of course, and haven't had any problems with these backing out. Haven't had no problems with them clipping my leads. They've, they've been awesome. I mean, I ain't got no complaints about that. The insulator right there is peak. I have not had any problems with this adjusting, the center post adjusting here. Now, Along on the bottom here, you do have Watofo. Hold on here. There you go. Watofo, Saper, and my serial number. 510 is adjustable. I haven't really messed around with it all too much because I usually use spring loaded adjusters, but it does adjust. Be sure. I don't have a screwdriver laying around here, but. Anyways, juice mail, uh, uh, juice well is six millimeters deep. Yeah, nice deep juice well. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! -woo. Now, let's take a look at the barrel here. Okay, now you, you can stop adjusting on that. Okay, barrel right here. Slots on both sides are for airflow. It's 12 millimeters long by 2 millimeters in height. Same on both sides. Got a nice little lip here, so it'll sit right there on the deck. It's always a plus. Yeah, not much to talk about on that one. Now, here's the top cap. Single O-ring does have this nice little cup here, so you can put your 510 adapter or Delrin wide bore drip tip in there. Airflow comes up comes up through the sides, goes down to the bottom, hits the coils, goes in your little air hole. Let me go ahead and show you guys how this adjusts here. Nice little, perfect, perfect tolerance on that. Does adjust. Grab this little stainless steel lip here. There you go. It's going to be the exact same on both sides. Keep that in mind, you single coilers. Ain't going to be no single coiling on here. All right. 510 adapter. Get this thing to adjust here. Come on now. There we go. Single O ring sits right up in here on this thing. Sits right up in there. Do get your wide bore Delrin drip tip. 
Now this wide bore is 11 millimeters in diameter all the way through. Nice tolerance, press fitting. Now you do get a... Oh yeah, I dropped it. Right, that's right. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Found a little booger. It is stainless steel. Peak all the way through. It is press fit. It's about 8 millimeters in diameter. Tampers off to 7 millimeters. Now, I will tell you guys this. <laughs> this thing is a pain in the butt. That is snug as it can be. But. Just do it like that. But. Rather have it tight. Too tight than too loose. But anyways. I'm not going to mess with it now. Terrible man. Terrible. Anyways. Well. That is about it. That's all I got to cover on this. On the up closies. I hope I gave you guys all the information that you guys needed. Now we will go back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it a little bit more, and that about cover it, guys. Alright guys, that was my up close with the Saper RD8 or Sapor, whichever one you guys want to call it, it doesn't matter to me. Now, let me go over my pros and my cons. My pros are I love top airflow. Top airflow, I love it. I just wish somebody would make a two post top airflow now this device right here i ain't got really all that many complaints about it i mean the tolerance on some of the parts are a little bit too snug and i don't i like snug but it's sometimes it's a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie to you so does I mean, other than the O-ring tolerances on the top cap, well, not the top cap, but like the little 510 adapter piece and the press-fitted drip tip 510, which it doesn't matter. I don't use the 510. I use the chuff. It's so much easier for me to drip in, so really don't have that many complaints with it. The flavor on it is awesome. The cloud production is amazing. One minute here. Mm. And it's affordable. Can't complain with a device or RDA being affordable. So, hey man, if you guys are into this and you're into the top airflow, and Watofo is definitely the company to look for because I mean they they make everything cheap. So I mean I'm not saying that their quality is cheap. I mean their quality is pretty good. I did vape this right out of the box so I didn't have like no machine oil problems. I mean a quick rinse and it was done and ready to vape on. So without further ado, drum roll please. My winner to my Thump RDA giveaway is going to be right here. Right here. See him? See him? Right there? Right there? Please send me your shipping address to the uh, to sub -ohm Saint at gmail.com and I will be able to give this get this device out to you get you guys a tracking number I'll be able to give you all that anybody that didn't win just stay tuned I will be doing more giveaways I just you know I need to get up ahead a little bit more on my devices so I can give you guys more stuff but thank you so much for watching and y'all keep vaping out there